Right there, for the Yeah. Hey, you better speak up because we got to hear you. <laughs> so go ahead, you're rolling. Okay, well, this is Jens Anders Rados from Italy. No, from Norway. From Norway, New, yeah. USA. <laughs> yes, from, from Norway. And, That's uh, Rowan Clare from Bristol. In the UK, yeah. And between us, we look after the Beyond the Pale website, which we started in October 1997. And it's been going ever since. Lots of contributions from all over the world. And we've occasionally organised these get togethers, as we are at the eighth of the large ones now. Where we have uh, five smaller ones. Four or five smaller ones, yeah. Where we, it's lovely because you know, all the people who are in touch with each other on the internet get together and meet in the flesh. And uh, lots of rather good friendships have been fostered on that basis. So tell me about the event this year. Well, it's a party here. We expect about 100 people. That's what it could make. It's sold out. So we could have got more, but the room was not more. It be crowded as it is. Uh, we have a band, uh, the Palos band, and they also have a local uh, tribute band, the uh, Broken Barricades playing. So there's a lot of good music. There will be a speeches and uh, food. Special we guest playing the bass guitar. Playing. Yeah, and uh, obviously we split and go to the Pocket Harm concert, which is the main attraction. And we continue after the concert and into the night. And obviously Pocket Harm is the top of our guest list. Fantastic. In so school can, house, can you tell us a little bit about the history of the band, the Baylor band? The Baylor's band, well, it started off in email correspondence between, I think probably Larry Panisi was in on it at the start, and I was, and we were saying, wouldn't it be great one day to get together and play this stuff? Uh -huh. And then after about three years of the website, when Purple Harm got together for the millennium, we actually implemented this idea. And we got together, we met in a hotel room uh, at night, and we practiced very quietly on toy drums and you know little tiny instruments, and then we got up the following day and we played to an audience, and it went really well. And we had, as we do now, we had a mixture of people, all different abilities, all different ages, you know, right from my 14-year-old son up to, you know, Dave Ball, who actually was in front of Harm, was in the band at that time, as he has been three times since. So how many iterations of the uh, Paler band have there been? This is the eighth. The eighth, yeah. And we've also, as the Paylor's project, which is a, the recording wing of the Paylor's band, we've supported Gary Brooker and friends um, in London in July 2007. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the idea with the Paylor's band is, if you want to play, just sign up, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, so, I mean, Gary Brooker has played, sing, has been singing with the band, Jeff White has been playing, playing with the band, yeah. I met Peck, the bass for the music. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so, I've had all the Brooker on stage doing backing vocals. Yeah, I mean, they even do it. Well, it looks like the crowd's starting to fill in. Yeah. So, uh, the, the band will play during the entire event? Uh, well, there'll be small gaps for people to yeah. fill their glasses and have a brief word. There'll be quite a lot of music, yes. I mean, it's a party, it's, it's not a concert. Yeah. So there should be time for talking and you know, mingling and that kind of stuff. Perfect. Um, anybody ready for some noise and music again? Yes? Yes? If you've seen the play this band before, you've seen a very um, charismatic and extraordinary figure singing with us called uh, One Eye, Two. Alan's One Eye Headless. And One Eye was uh, scheduled to be here, but a combination of circumstances and antibiotics and doctors who wouldn't let him fly um, meant he couldn't be here. We chose this song because it's got the phrase One Eye in the middle of my head. Uh, luckily, Bert's going to sing it for us. <coughs>
see when I get drunk. No, I'm not there yet. I'm going to relax. Well, this is the introductions, that's the promise. First of all, um, I'm Roland, I'm from the UK. This is the other And of course, uh, I'm from New York. Yeah. As you may know, Roland and I, we are on the Copenhagen website. We've been doing this for a couple of years, since 97. And sometimes we try to make some fun this. And this is going to be a good party, I think. And we always need some local people, or we need to travel a lot to figure out things. So, we go see it though. And Arnold as well. Yes, hi everybody. Uh, uh, welcome to New York. If you're from outside New York and if you're from New York, uh, welcome to Long Island. Uh, Long Island. Long Island. Long Island. Long Island. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, pleasure to have the uh, Bial Pale here. Uh, it took him a long time to get to the East Coast, so we're happy to have him here. Nice and close to us. Um, yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, things don't happen with just you know one or two or three people. There's a lot of people involved in making things happen. Um, one guy who is has been crucial in putting everything together is a guy by the name of Gary Celebre, who's back there. Welcome to uh, provide a lot of rehearsal space, uh, the rehearsal space for a couple of days for the for the family's band. We have for Gary and the rain. Are they where are they? Let's Gary. Gary's there. Where's the rain? Oh, sorry. oh she's there. There she is. Okay. This is this is Gary and Ray who looked after us very, very well this week. Um, And the throw the doors of that home open to us and give us a lot of space for bodily sustenance. Come on, Lorraine. And uh, so we, we have um, Grab that stand we have a two-part gift in this box down here. We reference album number six and um, something about dry champagne. <laughs> <laughs>